hi everyone so in this video i'm going to share with you a prophetic dream that i had i believe on saturday night and it's a dream on a terra luna um so uh, let me just go straight into the dream so basically i had this dream and in the dream we were um in the bedroom there was a, a group of us a whole bunch of us in the bedroom uh i don't know why it's in the bedroom but anyway um and some people were standing i think some people were sitting on the bed it was like we were in a waiting kind of state maybe or just gathering and talking whatever but anyway um and then all of a sudden there was um we started to hear people screaming and shouting uh like uh, like crying basically we started to hear people crying out in a, a different room or s somewhere else and um and we perceived that um in the dream it came across that these were the same uh terra luna people like uh, the korean people that i had seen in the previous dream that i had so in this dream it came it had the that same feeling that um these were the same people again you know there was that word again sort of thing um the word wasn't there in the dream it's just me saying the word but it, it felt like um it was these people again uh, and they were screaming and shouting um <clears throat> and then uh and and while that was happening simultaneously there was um uh, there was a, 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 a rocket um, taken off. Yeah, so a rocket was taken off and there was this excitement and we were wanting to go out and have a look. And just as we were going outside to have a look, um, there was a, a knowing that um, the, you can't tell you can't tell anyone. And I don't know why it's like you have to you have to keep it quiet. And I don't know what we were keeping quiet or why we were keeping whatever it was quiet. I don't know if we were keeping it quiet that you can't, that we can't tell the people crying that there's a rocket taking off. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if that's, that's interesting. I wonder if that's what that was. We can't tell the people crying that there's a rocket taking off outside. But anyway, that's how it was in a dream. And then, um, and then, so we went outside to have a look and there was this really, it was quite amazing. It was a spectacular, spectacular scene of a, a rocket that had shot off. And then also there were fireworks. And then up in the sky, there was a, a big um, uh, toothpaste. There was a, a toothpaste um, pack. Uh, coming down from above it was as if it was coming from heaven um giant massive to toothpaste maybe the size of a i don't know it's this giant like the size of a plane or the size of 10 planes i don't know it was just coming from up above you know and it was just a spectacular scene what we were looking at and uh, and so i i did Picked it and I did a little illustration just to show. Um, if you're wondering why I'm raising my voice, it's because there's a really loud noise outside. So um, so I'm I'm raising my voice a little bit just to make sure that you can all hear me. Um, okay, so so this is so there's the bedroom. Okay, and then from that in that bedroom. Uh, in another room somehow I, I don't quite know how I'm not loud now I'm not sure if they were in another room or if they were else if I don't know where they were okay but the people that were crying were not in the same room as us basically there was crying happening somewhere and um, and we understood that it was the um, it was the same people that were uh, crying in my first dream there was that sense that it was the same people that were crying in my first dream okay um and then uh so that's them crying and then simultaneously as this was happening 
there was a rocket taking off and fireworks and like i said there was a massive giant um toothpaste um coming from above so i've just got um one major thing that i'm i'm not um sure about which is one of the reasons why i was uh, sort of um I, I didn't share the dream straight away I, I just was sort of waiting to see what the lord will say to me um and that the, the, oh, the noise has stopped now can you guys tell the difference i i wonder if you can tell the difference so anyway um there was just the one thing about this dream that um concerned me and it's the bit where there was the shh you know the keeping quiet i don't know why we were we we couldn't there was something we had to keep a secret or we couldn't we couldn't reveal it just yet or something maybe it's like you can't say anything just yet yet we have to we have to wait before we say something I, I don't know so in waking i wasn't sure if that just meant i couldn't share the dream you know but i've been feeling uh getting a, a strong sense that um i should share this dream so um i think that was a dreams can be symbolic so i don't think that was literal you know you can't you can't share the dream sharon literally i don't think that's what that meant i think that's all part of the dream for some reason there was there was something that we couldn't um we had to keep shh, like that meanwhile we we were excited to go out and have a look at the at the file at the the rocket that was uh, shooting off and the fireworks um so that was just the thing i'm not sure what that was and then the other the other thing about this dream as well is the the toothpaste as well i was wondering from the beginning from the beginning of having that dream i felt that the toothpaste the giant toothpaste um was a uh, wisdom i still feel it as, as a matter of fact as i say it i i i feel that it's a uh, it's wisdom coming from above um and i say that because uh sometimes in in dreams sometimes when the lord i've had dreams where i'm brushing my teeth or i'm i'm applying toothpaste to my toothbrush in a dream and then when i wake up um, it's usually a very quick short dream and it will just be me applying toothpaste or it might be a dream where I'm looking for my toothpaste so I always um, equate toothpaste to do with wisdom or brushing my teeth to do with wisdom and, um, and understanding but I, I don't know maybe you guys can tell me um, how have you ever had toothpaste dream brushing your teeth what uh, and the Lord has told you the meaning what what is it to you you know um okay so so that's that dream so i've described the dream and then as soon as i woke up from that dream i prayed um for some reason it's, it's very odd that i actually went into prayer and um and i did feel a little bit of uh, urgency to pray I, I don't know why um as a matter of fact okay i'm not gonna lie I felt I, I started to pray and then I also went and had a look at my uh, my wallet my cryptocurrency wallet because I just felt that something was gonna happen um, but um, like I said I had this dream in uh, on Saturday and nothing drastic has happened yet you know so um, so um, so yeah so anyway I think the very next day um, I had or maybe the same night I I heard a voice and the voice said XRP um it, it said that XRP um is going from day tra trading to now trading. I might have heard this voice the same night after praying to be honest or after praying about the Terra Luna dream and then um and then I heard this voice and it was a, a voice that was uh, said that spoke to me and the voice said i heard it in, in the spirit and it said xrp um is is going from day trading to now trading like this like now where is it xrp from day trading to now trading yeah and i i don't really understand what that means 
I don't understand what that means. I don't know if that's to do with, is it CBDC? CBDC, the bridge, you know. So every transaction is instant transaction. So I don't know if it means that XRP is now um, is, is now going into the, the uh, full into CBDC. I, I don't know, okay? Um, because they're already using XRP, but I, I, look, I don't know. Let's, let's, let me not uh, waste time in this video. That's what I heard, and that's that. And then, um, yes, and then I need to mention something. I'm not a financial advisor, okay? So I'm not qualified to give financial advice, and I'm not qualified to give advice and investments. And uh, this video is not to uh, persuade you or to... Um, to uh, recommend to you or to suggest to you to invest in any cryptocurrency. Uh, but rather, this video is to share with you a dream that I believe is from God Almighty. And the Lord has called me to, to he, said, he said to me that he will speak to me and I'm to, to share what he tells me. So that's all I'm doing. I'm sharing this dream because I believe the Lord wants me to share this dream with you guys okay so um yeah so yeah i've already said this why the sh you know why why couldn't we why can't we tell i don't know what that means so so yeah uh, ladies and gentlemen this is the dream i submitted to the body of christ the body of our lord jesus christ and um and yes, and, and that's that. And you know, there was one thing that was on my heart, you know, that um, we really ought to be praying for the, for the body of Christ, you know. We really um, ought to pray for the church. You know, in the Bible, in the, in the New Testament, they talk about that a lot. You know, pray for the church, pray for the brethren, pray for believers, you know. So, yeah. So I think I better end the video now. Let me know what you guys feel or what you think um about this okay so that's that um and i'll see you guys in another video all right have a good i hope i'm not forgetting something so um but anyway yeah so i'll see you guys soon take care now bye